Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly reading for September 2016. I am Renee Michelle and this is my channel here on YouTube, Chronicles of a Hoodoo Spirituals. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the club. I want to thank you for your likes and your shares and comments. They're greatly appreciated. And also thank you for all the support while I've been getting better. Um, the $20 gratitude special will end at the end of this month. And towards the the middle of September, which is about the third week in September, we will start Free Mondays, in which you can book online with me, if your birthday is that week, for free for a half an hour reading. And that will be on hoodoospiritualist.net. And if you want a reading with me, you can also get one on hoodoospiritualist.net. All right, Pisces, let's see what's in store for you for September of 2016. So what's going on beneath the surface? There's some quarreling going on. There's some bickering, right? There's some arguing. And it's like you against the world. It feels like almost like you're by yourself. It's like, come on, stop it. Leave me alone. So one of the things I see here is, is that you're really just pushing, 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 pushing them all away. Like, just get away from me. Get away from me. But if you go about this a different way, you can get them to leave you alone easier and quicker than just constantly having to push. So um, coming into this month, right, I feel like you're secure and saving money. You're saving money and it's making you feel secure, right? Because this is the king of coins and this is saving money. Most of the times I say, okay, you, you desire or you wish to save more money. But Pisces, I feel that you are, right? See how you're looking, the, all these little acorns that he's grabbling up here. And you guys are looking, you're focused and you're secure. You're okay with it. And that's good. Coming to, to this week, the first week of September, right? You can you gain control of your emotions, of your attitude, of the abusiveness, of the mouth. And you, you really have control the energy that you have. Some of you have all these creative ideas and you've honed them in and you're focused and you're ready to go forward, right? Because there is something that you want to do to start anew, to expand your mind. And you want to take off with it, right? It's like, you know, see how the child is looking in wonderment at this fire? This is the page of, of, of wands. You're really excited about expanding your mind in this new way. And you can't wait to, to figure out how to tame this fire or how to make these creative ideas and this new expansion of the mind work for you. At the beginning of the second week of September, you have um, the page of coins, and this is about you being cautious, right? Like he don't want to, he don't want to bite that apple just yet. He's being cautious, right? You're being cautious about how you move forward with these ideas, with these new creative endeavors, because, and even towards the middle of the week, you loosen up a little bit, but still, this is about you observing the situation. This is the night of coins. This is about you observing the situation, your sur surroundings around you, before you take that step forward. You're not ready to go run off. You're just ready to look, okay, and see what is going on and how is the best to move forward with your situation. At the end of that week, we have a tower card. Now, listen, this is not always a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing. What this is, is this is something new and unexpected, right? That is going to plop in your lap, right? And the fact that you are cautious and you're taking your time, this is at your back, okay? So towards the middle of the week, I feel, something's going to happen, right? But you're going to be grounded enough where you can take it with ease and know what to do with it in that moment. Like, it's not going to be something that will leave you on your ass. You're going to be ready to handle it. Towards the beginning of the third week, there's worry, right? 
There's worry about this financial freedom that you'll have, this total bliss that you want, right? About moving forward away from all the damaging things that have gone on in your world, right? To get this happiness, this financial stability. You don't want to end up homeless on the street. <laughs> you want to move past all of this. You worried, you stressed, and you want to move past it. Towards the middle of this week, you, this week or this third week, you're going to want to move forward past all the negativity and all the things that have gone on. But you're worrying about, at the beginning of this third week, how you're going to go about doing that, right? Because it is so much stuff, okay? So the three of wands means that you're going to move forward and you're going to be happy with it. You're going to make a decision about this and you're going to move forward. And that's the end of the third week. Look at you. Wonderful. Dancing. Happy. Free. Right? Also wanted to let you know about this tarot, but I'll let you know before the thing is over. Towards the, the beginning of the fourth week of the month, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So your tide is turning. Right? Things are getting better. Things are moving forward. Things are growing. And by the middle of the fourth week, with the Justice card, you feel grounded, feet on the ground, secure and balanced, right? And you'll know that you have all that you need to move forward with the Magician card. You'll know it, and you'll be happy in it. See how you beat that drum? You'll be happy and ready and know that you have everything it is to move forward to where you want to go, right? The outcome of the week, of the month, right? It's still the security, right? And you're securing new love. There's a new love, right? This, this rekindlement. If you're already married, you're already in a relationship, there's a rekindlement of a new love. There's no cheating here. I don't feel this is a cheating situation. I feel like if you're in a relationship, it's a rekindlement of an old one. If not, then you are thinking about someone on the earth sign, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus, that you might be thinking about getting that relationship with, or you're dating, and it's going to be great for you. And you're gonna love it. I have this new tarot is gay and spelled gay G A I A N, right? I I'm gonna pronounce it different every time. I'm gonna let y'all know ahead of time. But it's the healing earth and healing ourselves tarot. Alright. Until next month, y'all stay blessed. I love you and I share. Peace.